Uh, good, uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen, uh, distinguished guests, and many friends from all over the world. Uh, welcome to Japan and welcome to this uh, first university global meeting. I am very pleased and very much honored to make the uh, opening remarks of this meeting. As you know, as you may know, UNICEF in Japan was established in 2002 and became a non-profit organization in 2003 uh, with the objective of university students' practical uh, space engineering activities such as micro-nano satellite or uh, micro-nano pico satellite or hybrid rocket development. At that time in 2002, we had only uh, maybe 11 uh, university participations. But since then, UNICEF has been growing very rapidly and now we have 60 participations from 41 universities. UNICEF has made tremendous success in the field of uh, space engineering up to now, such as 20 satellites, university satellites have been launched into space and hybrid rocket already exceeds the sound, uh, speed of the sound and achieve uh, uh, about 7 or 8 km. In the aspect of education, of course, many young engineers and researchers graduating from these UNICEF communities are now making a very important roles in the field of space development utilization as well as in many other technological areas. One of the key factors of this success of UNICEF is, in my own observation, the frontier spirit of many energetic young professors and students that even if there is not so much money, we would like to, we want to pursue the development of the rocket or the satellite. I should also add that important role of the UNICEF is to provide a student with the opportunity to see the other universities' activities and achievement. This situation motivates a student further with such feeling that, oh, that university made such kind of thing, so we can do the very similar thing. Or we can do, we would like to do, get more results than that kind of university. Something like that. So we now believe that UNICEF can be a very good model of the university level space engineering education in many countries, including your countries. This is a basic concept of UNICEF Global. That is, we are hoping that UNICEF-like organization will be established in many countries who want to develop human resource training in the field of space engineering. In this meeting, we Japanese side would like to show the know-hows and experiences of UNICEF in Japan and I would ask participating countries to share their own programs or program solving uh, know-hows, ideas. After the discussion, maybe uh, in the evening tomorrow, we would like to announce the establishment of UNICEF Global. This meeting also hosts uh, the MIC Mix 3 Mission Idea Contest 3 uh, pre proposal presentation sessions in this afternoon. MIC is one of the main international activities in UNICEF Japan, and I hope that it will be an indispensable element for the future UNICEF global activities. Before completing my talk, I would like to introduce several important organizations which have contributed a lot to the realization of this meeting and show our gratitude. Firstly, as to the financial support, we would like to thank JST, Japan Science Technology Agency. Dr. Nagano of JST will kindly make speech later. Also, we thank Mitsubishi UFJ Corporation. Mr. Ko Okahana of this foundation kindly attend this meeting. This meeting is also co-hosted by the School of Engineering of the University of Tokyo. The meeting is cooperated by Office of National Space Agency, Cabinet Office, Government of Japan, and Mr. Akeno will make us a speech later. 
Also, uh, it is cooperated by many other Japanese governmental organizations and supported by the United Nations Program of Space Applications, Basic Space Technology Initiatives, and the International Academy of Astronaut uh, Astronautics, IEAA. Thank you very much for your kind attendance once again. And I hope that we will have a very hot and fruitful discussion and outcomes. Thank you very much.